okay so we'll start with averages okay so in averages i think most of you already know the basics of averages what are averages so what is the different definition of average see if you have like say n numbers x1 x2 x3 and so on till xn that is n values are there okay then what is an average it is the sum of all these values till xn divided by the number of terms so simple basically what is average you add everything up divide by the number of terms you get the average average is i'm sure everybody understands very intuitively what an average is now we'll come to a slightly different topic which is weighted average weighted average basically is that instead of having a simple average instead of giving equal weightage to everybody instead of saying that a plus a plus a instead of adding everything you first multiply each element or each thing with its weight so this i think you would know from like gpa if you guys have ever calculated gpa the weight of a particular grade is given by the weightage given to a particular subject so you will consider the weightage average to be w1 x1 plus weight of the second entry into x2 plus weight of the third entry into x3 and so on till you have wn xn this is basically weighted average you first multiply each element with its weight and then you divide not by n but the sum of weights so this will be divided by w1 plus w2 plus w3 and so on okay so this will give you till wn do you remember where you would have used this so if you were calculating your gpa each subject would have the subject weightage right so subject weightage would tell you that okay this subject has this much weightage so you would multiply your grade in the subject with the weightage then you take like the sum and divide by the total credits for a particular semester that would be the weighted average which would give you the gpa for a particular semester same idea is that the idea of weighted average weighted average is instead of taking equal weights for every entry you multiply every entry with its weight and then divide by the sum of weights okay this is basic basic sum of uh, what is average what is weighted average but in cad you don't get direct questions no they will never make it so simple for you so what do they actually ask in cat in cat what they will generally give you is they will give you the average of the whole and a part and you are will ask you that what is the average of the remaining part for example if they say that if the average of the class is say 48 kgs okay average of six boys is 54 kgs then you are asked what is the average of the four girls so there are 10 people in the class there are six boys and there are four girls so what are they asking you that if the average of the 10 people is 48 okay the average of the six boys is 54 what is the average of the four girls okay so this is basically the kind of question that you will get where you will be asked a average of a part given the average of a whole and the other part so over here how do you solve something like this see over here the basic idea is that whenever averages are given and you have to split it into parts and convert the average into sum if you convert the average into sum what will you get that the sum of the weights for these 10 people will be 48 into 10 so the total weight of these 10 people is how much that will be equal to 480 kgs if the total weight is 480 kgs what is the weight of the six boys average is 54 so on average one kid weighs one boy weighs 54 kgs so how much will the six boys weigh that will be 6 into 54 so how much that would be 6 into 54 would be this would be 6 into 50 is 300 4 into 6 is 24 this will be equal to 324 okay this part which is the weight of the boys is 324 if the total weight is 480 kgs weight of the boys is 324 then what is the weight of the girls so the weight total weight of the four girls would be the remaining part 480 kgs minus 324 that would be equal to 156 so the total weight of these four girls is 156 kg so the sum of the weights is 156 kg sum divided by number of entries that is 156 divided by 4 will give you the average weight which is how much this is equal to 3939 kg this is a type of question that will be asked where 
they give you the average of the whole they give you the average of a part they'll give you the distribution how many boys how many girls and then they will ask you the average of the remaining part this is a very basic concept they won't directly ask questions like this but this will be like one of the parts they ask in a overall question but you should know that whenever average of the whole is given average of the part is asked convert averages to sum sum is basically average into the number of entries is sum convert it into sum remove the sum of the one of the constituents you will get the sum of the other constituent divided by number of entries you will get the average of the other part the other most common type of question that they ask is where they give you that okay there are 10 items if i add one item to it what would be the new average or if i remove one item from it what would be the average so suppose that there are 10 items and the average of these 10 items is 48 kgs what would be the uh, weight of the element that is added that after adding one more element the average increases by 1 suppose this information is given to you what is the old sum in this case see there were 10 items and for these 10 items the average was 48 so what was the sum in this case 48 into 10 so that is 480 kgs so weight was 480 kgs i don't know so weight was 480 kgs when you had 10 items you add one more item now the average increases by 1 so now there are 11 elements and the new average is one more than 48 so it is 49 so what is the new average what is the new sum of all elements 9 uh, 11 into 49 what is 11 into 49 this would be how much would be 11 into 49 this is 9 this is 13 5 39 539 would be the total of the new total as such so if 539 is the new weight 480 was the old weight what is the weight of the new person that was added that is 539 minus 480 so the new person would be added would be 59 kgs so what is happening over here you are told that one person is added the average is changing by using the new average and the number of terms you get the new total of weight you consider the old average and the old number of terms you get the old weight new sum minus old sum you get the weight of the element that is added this is like the basic basic things the fundamental things that are needed to calculate the higher like the more difficult questions that are there in averages next instead of adding you can deduct the same idea remains where if you deduct what will happen you have the new average but the new average will be for instead of 10 people you will have new average for 9 people so suppose after removing one person suppose the average decreases by 1 so now the new sum will be equal to how much new sum will be equal to 9 into it is now lesser by 1 so it will be 9 into 47 so how much is this 9 into 47 360 plus 63 so that is 423 so the new weight is 423 the old weight was 480 if the old weight was 480 the new weight is uh, 423 that basically meant that you removed somebody who was weighing 57 kgs so you removed somebody weighing 57 kgs the average went down because you removed one person who was heavier than the average remember when you weigh, remove somebody who is heavier than the average the average will go down if you remove somebody who is lighter than the average the average will go up here we removed somebody who was heavier than the average so the average went down here we added somebody who was heavier than the average so the average went up that is also what you should remember that even if you make a silly mistake you should roughly know where the value should lie given the fact that the average is increasing the value should lie above the average given the fact the value is decreasing and i'm adding the value should lie below the average so this is roughly what you should be able to know generally the most common is not addition or deletion the most common is replacement they replace one person with another so suppose the old average of 10 items was 48 after replacing one person the average is changes by 1 so if the average changes by 1 the old weight was how much it is 48 into 10 so it was old weight was 480 now again after replacing one person there are still 10 people and the new average is increasing by 1 so it is 49 so now the new average is 49 into 10 so the new sum is 490 what does this tell you the sum of weight went from 480 to 490 which means what that the total weight increased by 10 so the new person who is coming in is 10 kg heavier than the person who is leaving so because i added the new person and removed the old person 
this difference in weight is 10 kgs that's why the total weight went up by 10 kgs when you add you can see how much the sum is going up when you delete you can see how much the sum is going down when you replace you get the difference in the weights of the people who came and who either left minus the ones who came or vice versa basically when you replace you only get to know the difference rather than the absolute value of the person's weight okay so these are the common type of questions that come in averages these are the basic tools as such